Hi everyone, my name is Bogdan Sultana. I'm a product manager here at UI Path, part of the UI Automation team. I'm proud to be here today to talk to you about one of our most exciting innovations, which is agentic UI Automation. So let's start with the basics. What is agentic UI Automation? At its core, it's a leap forward in how we think about UI Automation. Traditionally, you needed the to know the structure of the UI, the hierarchy, selectors, anchors. As Gheorghe showed earlier, this approach is brittle in dynamic environments. Now, with this, you just describe what you want in natural language, a prompt, and the robot does the rest. Agentic UI automation is like self-driving for software. Well, the robot can understand your intent, plan how to do it, and execute across any UI starting from only a high-level task description. So the magic lies in the three steps composing the agentic loop. Understand, plan and execute. Let's say you ask the agent to add a product to cart and checkout. It first semantically understands the screen, then plans the steps needed and finally it interacts with the UI, whether that's a button, a drop-down or a model. This is powered by large action models that understand software the way large language models understand words. We decided to launch Agentic UI Automation as an unattended focus studio activity first, called the UI Agent. Um, this is because we, we truly believe that this is where the most immediate value for our customer lies on, in a, unattended automations. Unattended robots are where the automation can truly scale and deliver ROI at an enterprise level. So we wanted to unlock these high impact use cases first. So digging a bit deeper into the value proposition, first and foremost, it lowers total cost of ownership. That's very important because traditional automations often fail when the UI changes. This doesn't. It understands goals. Second, you can build this. You can use this to build things that were too difficult before, like clicking dynamic elements, reading virtualized lists, entering data into hundreds of different looking forms. Um, third, it unlocks cognitive and agentic use. Uh, so, stuff like summarizing peer reviews or nav navigating to GitHub to write a custom outreach email. Um, but also, it's a huge enhancement for computer vision scenarios, bringing context and reasoning where there was previously only detection of UI elements. And best of all, it works cross-platform. LAMs, large action models, are one of the most exciting developments in AI automation that's no doubt about this, but they're still in their early sta stages. Most of them are at about GPT 2.5 level when it comes to automating complex end-to-end -end enterprise scenario. They tend to be slow, expensive and unpredictable, especially when scaled. Continuing from the limitations, um, this is exactly why we're encouraging the start small mindset. Rather than expecting LAMs to solve entire end-to-end -end processes today, we guide our users to focus on very specific high friction steps that will most benefit from semantic understanding. How do you start? Well, it's simple. Don't try to automate everything at once. Pick a few high friction areas where selectors always break, where the UI is too dynamic or where there's too high complexity. Um, UI agent should handle all those small but critical pieces elegantly. We intentionally designed UI agent to also support the next generation of LAMs, which let's say uh, they might be GPT-6 level in terms of autonomy. So it's just a matter of time and not a lot of it, judging by the way these models have evolved recently. Um, so a, a short summary of what we mean here is that coming back to, to today's uh, LAM quality levels, 
We believe the most realistic and powerful approach is what we call best of both worlds. That means blending the structured, predictable logic of RPA, the robotic side, with the flexibility and semantic strengths of uh, agentic automation, so the agentic side. Think of it like the brain. You don't want to rely only on logic or only on intuition. You need both. So we um, a very, very important factor here is that we don't lock you in into a model either. We are the Switzerland of LAMs. Out of the box, you can use two UiPath custom solutions, one using Gemini, the other using GPT-40 or operator or cloud computer use or just bring your own. Whatever your governance, cost or performance needs will support it. Of course, with agency comes risk, so guardrails become essential to control the natural unpredictability of LAMs. One of the most important types of guardrail is scope. We've embedded agentic UI automation across different layers of scope to, to offer users full flexibility with safety. So at the most granular level, we have semantic targeting, so the semantic selectors, which brings intelligence to the process of locating your elements. Then we move to the semantic activities, which focus on automating interactions at the element level. These, by the way, will soon evolve into um, agentic semantic activities, giving them even more autonomy while retaining their, their clarity. And finally, we offer the UI agent activity, which can operate across a single app or span multiple apps or, or URLs. It's entirely up to you as a user. This layered approach gives you the control you need at the level you need it. And the guardrails won't stop here. Um, these include limiting how many steps a UI agent can take, restricting the tools it can use, blacklisting some hurt, certain high risk elements. Um, all, all of this means that you can deploy safely even in production environments and scale over time as you gain trust in the system. And now let me show you what this looks like in action. Okay, so now let me show you UI agent in action. Our demo today will consist of four micro tasks. The first one is around selecting issues based on a semantic criteria. The second one will be interacting with a custom date picker. Then we'll be changing the language to Japanese and show that we can still find the submit issues button and submit all these issues. The design for the UI agent activity is very simple. You just have this edit box for the prompt. Then you can choose the model. Currently, there are two custom UI path solutions powered by Gemini and GPT-40. Then there are two out of the box solutions from OpenAI and Anthropic. And we'll keep updating this list as the state of the art evolves. You can also have a, a string uh, output results. So um, each of these micro tasks is defined by a new agent, each with its own prompt. Um, and now let's run this and see how it goes. We'll be able to observe the agent thoughts here on this output panel on the left. So now as it opens the form we have the first surprise of the day we haven't accounted for this during design time this is a surprise so the agent is instructed in its system prompt to discard such messages so it will click on either so first it tries to interact in the back it sees that the message is still in the focus so now it clicks on remind me later if you want to make sure that it always clicks on remind me later you need to instruct it so so you need to include this in the prompt. Now it's so it's selecting the the issues with open status and location located in Europe, uh, which you know, given the data we have here, both countries and cities, this would be tricky using traditional uh, RPA. Now it's going to interact with this custom date picker on the lower right. Um, the, the thing about this date picker is that if you use any other input order than year, month, day, it will just close. So this is why we needed to have the detailed instructions for this. 
so now it it first clicks on the drop down to see the, the the options and then it will select the correct uh, value so we said uh, april 30th okay that's the month you see these va these models are not uh, the quickest now but hey at least i mean the, the important thing we not attended is uh correctness and uh, accuracy so this is what we are focusing on now now the last part is about changing the language to japanese since these models the large action models uh, are you know have evolved from large language models their strength is, is words right so language is not an issue okay now in japanese the last micro task will be submit the issues which is the lower left uh, button and we found it yes and it turned green and um, so the execution is okay so the agent says task completed this is where we close everything okay so thank you for this do join me later for a deep dive session where I'll show you our realistic approach on your agent and how you can bring value to your customer, uh, to your customers using AgentEQ automation in your path today. AgentEQ automation reaches uh, private preview in May. I hope you're all in your iPad Insider. You can register. Go on the waitlist. Please join the preview.